shoulders basically what I'm trying to do right now is do my off-season workout even though I'm getting ready for a contest so I'm lifting all my I'm doing my heavy lift that I normally do in off-season so this is really off-season training being done for a pre-contest because the contest for Mr. Olympia <coughs> is five and a half weeks out but you know I'm just as strong now as I was uh, when I was, uh, I was 315 uh, for, what, off season this year. And I'm doing the same weight at 315. I'm right now, I'm 285. So I'm doing the same weight that I was doing uh, at 315 at 285. But yesterday I started out with shoulders. I did the seated shoulder press. Started out with my light warm up as I always do. I warm up with everything. On all, most of the, all the exercises, start out with 135 for like 15. Then I go to 225 for like 12. Then I do uh, 275 for 12. And uh, this is all season training. I went up to 315. That's normally about as high as I go. I did 315 also for 12. And immediately following when that, I go over to what I call <coughs> my uh, dumbbell laterals. But the only thing about my dumbbell lateral, since I only do shoulders once a week, I always incorporate like a giant set. It really helps to build my shoulders up real good. So I start out, what I mean by giant set, I do uh, four, X's, four uh, sets back to back. And I start out with 30, and I do 25 reps. Then I go to 40, uh, 15 reps. Then I go to 50, for uh, 10 reps, and then I go to 60 for uh, 8 reps. 
and I follow that up real quickly uh, with another set. But I start off just a little bit heavier, like 10 pounds heavier on the next set. I do the same thing, except I start out with 40 for 25, then 50 for 15, and then uh, I did uh, 60 for 10 and 70 for 8. Uh, after that, you know, those are my two main shoulder ones, but I do also do one, like one more shoulder exercise to go with that, make it, make it three. I only do like two, <clears throat> since I'm doing a jack. My next one, I go in the, the uh, uh, it's like a shoulder raise, but I use a bar, a uh, small bar, and I did, uh, I think that was 90 pounds, 80, uh, eight, yeah, 90 pounds, yeah, it was 90 pounds for uh, 10 to 12 reps. And I did like three sets, you know, with that, and I just go, you know, <clears throat> uh, back to back with that. Uh, probably take probably about two, two, two three minutes uh, rest in between that. I really go over to uh, some real delts. I start out on the uh, cable crossover machine, but I convert it to a real delt. We got two different sets of handles. So I put in a real delt handle, and I know I'm gonna start out with like 200 pounds here and do for 15 reps. And uh, then I go up to, uh, I do four sets here. I do another set, probably like 220 for 15 reps. Then I go up to my heaviest set, which the most machine I think a whole, which is like, uh, I think it's 250 uh, for like 12 reps. And I do two sets at that. So it's all together, four sets. And I follow that up immediately with another real dead exercise, bent over laterals. I kind of started, I think I started out with like 65 pounds, and I did 10 reps. I did three sets of that, and that was it. I did, uh, I think I stayed with 65 for uh, 12 reps, for 10 reps, no, I did 10 reps, uh, three sets of that.
And I followed that up immediately with uh, some shrugs, working my traps uh, next. So I did a dumbbell, 200 pound dumbbell for like, I was doing basically just as much, as many reps as I could. Sometimes I get 14, sometimes I get 12, sometimes I get 13. I basically just did like uh, four sets of that. And that was just one exercise. And that was just basically it. Because after all of the stuff I had done, plus me being rushed for work, I really didn't have a whole lot of time to spend on that. Sometimes I do just one exercise. Sometimes I may do two. Sometimes I may follow that up with uh, upright rows or something like that for like three exercises, uh, 135 pounds, doing uh, uh, 10 to 12 reps. But yesterday I just did one exercise. And then that pretty much uh, completes my workout for shoulders. On, on uh, And I always do that on Wednesday. That's the only thing that I do for that one day, Wednesday, is always shoulder. Everything else alternates. Now it's time to go to work. <laughs> Real work. Everyday thing. Last minute. Oh man. Used to rushing this every day. Oh boy. But once I'm here, I'm here. I've been working here for 12 years now. The best thing about working this job is being able to wear shorts. <laughs> When it's 111 degrees outside and you got a vest on, that makes it about 150, 120 for you. Well, with shorts on, it kind of evens it out to about 115. It takes it down about five degrees. Which kind of cuts down on the sweat. Ouch! Let's go to work and do briefing. Only schedule change is. Uh... Steve Smith's gonna take five hours vacation today. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're that you stay with them until they get up to the top floor. Don't just leave them in the emergency room. I gotta see if they exhibit violent behavior and they're between 14 and 16. Don't go to Cooks. Take them to JPS. Cooks don't want them. A couple people put in. You can put in letter and see what happens with it. The streets rebuilt. Uh, stone product in the nose so they can. Four eight one eight from the eight ten. Four. Trying to stay clean. Yep, this house is about eating the pro patrol car. <laughs> Being two time Mr. Olympia, you learn how to survive. You do what you have to do. Chicken and baked potato. This is meal number three. Of kitchen and baked potato.
complaining. I said, don't get in that van yet, you know. And I said, and so I grabbed my son by the arm. I said, you're going back inside right here. Well, she lost it and got a hold of it. You know, made a scene. What's address? Well, what's her birthday? Her birthday yeah. is 37. What year? 67. Oh, what's your job title? Yes. Oh, oh, well, I'm a manager. Manager? General manager. Paperwork time. Good old chicken. Barbecue sauce. Masterpiece. Country store fell victim to flames late last night. Locals say Smith's was more than just a hardware store. It was a place to meet. Masterpiece barbecue sauce. Best barbecue sauce they make. Chicken on it. I just got hit on the foot when I was a kid. I got hit all over. She got hit right. All over her leg. If I hit my mom back, I would be dead. Yeah, I have a hard time understanding y'all kids today. When I was a kid, we just did what we were told to do. And that was just that. Why are you crying? She ain't. Oh, no, sometimes it's just... Oh, okay. Okay, let's go. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's Okay, you can. Just a little bit, because I got to put this seat down on
Okay. Well. Uh, yes, report number 00005 It's going to be an original report. Reported date 9-13-2000. Status, arrested. Nature of the call is uh, assault bodily injury. Uh, I got a famous saying. After every day I finish this job, Another day, another quarter. That's what it compares to when you compare it to my Olympia salary. But two times Miss Olympia, I'm still putting in eight hours a day. And just the other day I was watching somebody's video and they, I swear, I swear I heard them say you can't do bodybuilding and have a full-time job. Well, I hate to be the one to dispel that, but I am an exception to that rule. I've been bodybuilding for 10 years, and I've been working here for 12. And the famous question is, why do you still work here? And you're Mr. Olympia, two-time Mr. Olympia. My answer to that question is, because I love it. Point simple, point blank. Otherwise, I would not be here. If I didn't like this job, they could probably take it and shove it, but like I said, you know, I love what I do. So that's why I still come to work every day. Just like, same reason why I buy the bill. I think it's one of the hardest jobs out there, the hardest sports out there. One of them, you know, there's a bunch of them that's hard. But the reason why I do all that and put my body through all that is because I love it. When you got love for something, you know what they say? There ain't really too much of nothing you really wouldn't do to do it. Yeah. Change. Stop going up to now. You're crazy. Not my baby brother. Oh. Not my baby brother. get a chance to come home and do the treadmill for another hour. It's a wonderful life. <laughs> That's okay. My day will be over with pretty soon. Central Texas, your Fox Forward forecast details when we come back. What does it take to become the number one Toyota dealer in the Metroplex? The moment you walk on our lot. Your school bus forecast for today. Kids, as you walk out the door, it's comfortable this morning, near 70 degrees, but hot this afternoon, mid 90s. Air pollution watch level R. We'll go for 96 today. Not a record. The record is 102, but a few clouds and a light wind. And for tonight, a cool front comes through late in 67. Cooling down to below normal tomorrow, Saturday, and probably back to normal on Sunday. Here's Chip with traffic. Thank you, Evan.
finish off for breakfast. Good old extreme whey protein shake. Started with my grits. Quick grits here. Add uh, one fourth a cup is 29 carbs. I had three fourths, which made it uh, 87 carb total. This is baked basically just all carb meal made in made from enrich, enrich white hominy. And like I said, of course, I always finish it off with a nice protein shake. Probably about 80 to 90 grams of protein. It's the extreme whey chocolate fla flavor. Uh, it's a real good source of protein there. Yeah. And uh, like I said, this is my jump start meal of the day. First meal of the day, seven o'clock in the morning. Of course, today being what? Five and a half weeks out from uh, Mr. Olympia. That is probably my, that is my biggest carb meal of the day. Cause uh, I'll probably end up after the day's over with close to 200 grams maybe for the day. This is what I call my low carb week. I probably had like six days while I low carb and I have one day where I carb up real high. And I'll do that all the way up to the Olympia. So we just basically just monitor it and go by how I look. Right now I'm about 285 pounds and everything is looking pretty good so probably gonna stick with this one for a while until uh, Chad C need to change everything up again but for right now this is what we go with one high carb day probably like six low carb days mm. Get no better than that. <laughs> top one, Carlos Delgado. Go on the way. Go to Jake Foods Junior Top 3. That means we are into an AL second best 3.30. Nice, good old walk on the treadmill for an hour. From the bed to the treadmill. Nothing but a peanut. Warming it up.
800 for two reps. Five and a half weeks out. It's a challenge. Anybody. Anybody. Thursday, we doing another workout here. Today was heavy back day. And what I'm working here is uh, lower back. And uh, I'll just do basic exercises on this. I started out with deadlift. It's always been a favorite lift of mine. It's always been a real good lift for me. It's always, it always gave me real good gains. And for deadlifts, I know I'm gonna do the, the mega high repetition because I'm, I'm doing heavy weight. And I'm basically just working on my lower back, just trying to get it big and thick. So I normally just do the smaller number of repetitions, and that's the only exercise that I do that for. I do uh, just 10, 8, 6, 4, and 2, basically. And I immediately follow that up with some bent over rows. And that's another one of my favorite exercises. It really helps to build my lower back up real good. I do a little bit more repetitions on that. Woo! Right, wait. Last one. Yeah, buddy. Right, wait. And I basically just finished that up with uh, T-bar rolls in the corner is what we call it. And uh, I just did, you know, I started out with like seven plates on the, on, the, on the roll for like 12 reps. Then I put on nine plates and uh, I think I did another uh, 12 reps. 
And then I'll follow that up with my last set and my record breaking. Said I did, I think, uh, 12 plates for like eight, eight reps, eight or nine reps. I think it was eight reps. It's kind of heavy and I wasn't really concentrating on the number of reps. I was really concentrating on getting the weight up. And uh, I basically just followed that up with, you know, biceps. I know I'm going to do a whole lot of work for biceps because biceps is something that I already have a lot of. And since I'm not really trying to build it up a whole lot more, I just did like two exercises. And I normally keep it like that. Sometimes I just work bicep once a week. Sometimes I might do it twice a week, but for the most part, it's just once a week. And I basically just start out with something simple, like a uh, standing preacher uh, dumbbell curl. And then I basically just finish that up with uh, some standing cable crossover, but just convert it to a, like a curl, basic, basic curl. And I just did, you know, I don't like I, I say I don't do a lot, a lot of heavy weights on here. So, you know, I'm not really into building up my bicep, but I just basically just did uh, three sets of that, uh, 30 pounds for like 12 reps, and uh, that was pretty much it for a back and bicep workout for me. Food for champions. French fries and good old chicken. All about hardcore dieting. Those who inflict Woo. pain on others know they'll be in pain themselves. It's 
how they view that pain that sets them apart. The best actors, my bullets were so fast, you feel the windshield factors. In the wrong place, you get the windshield backwards. Get an ounce of the throw with a steamer pack of backwards. <laughs> is empty today. Nobody wants to work out. Hey, hold on just a second. Yeah, where you going? Get buddy. Huh. Yeah, buddy! Wait, wait! Yep! Boom! Yep!
87 pounds. Five weeks out. Five weeks to go. At least. They're usually, uh, the texture of Ryan's muscles are usually very hard. So it takes a lot of effort and a lot of pressure to be able to penetrate, to be able to um, do what I need to do to relax the muscles. I come here to heal all my, all my problems, my legs, <laughs> my shoulders, my arms, ain't nothing that I got. And a part of my body she hadn't worked on that was injured. I've injured my arm right here. I injured both of my shoulders, my leg, my back. But it was major when I almost ruptured that disc in my back about three years ago, well, almost four years ago mm -hmm. now. I, could, I couldn't walk for two weeks. They wanted to do surgery, but you know, a specialist kind of like told me I didn't really have to, that this would work. So, and it did. And uh, she, she's healed it all. Yeah, she made me who I am today. <laughs> <laughs> you see on his face, this is a tender spot. <laughs> yeah, this stuff hurt. <laughs> I think I'm giving away too many of my secrets in, in this. <laughs> I'm going to charge $50 for this tape. <laughs> Well, Ron's really easy to take care of. He gets adjusted once a week. Um, he gets his massage work with uh, Barbara, the myofascial release, the St. John's technique, which keeps his muscles very flexible, very loosened up. So when I adjust him, he adjusts very easy. And uh, what you get adjusted once a week, it keeps mm -hmm. the pressure off the lumbar discs. Uh, he's able to work out more, lift the heavier weights. It's mm -hmm. responding just beautifully. And the chiropractic adjustments, it takes the pressure off the nerves of the low back. Those nerves go to the muscles. The muscles are what uh, allow him to lift, and he's got good nerve function into the muscles. Those muscles are going to be able to max out a lot better. And he's just responding great. Always has. Works great for athletics. Yep. Thank you, Ron. Yeah, real good. <laughs> Couldn't do it without him. Hey, we appreciate that. <laughs> Enjoy taking care of it. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Sure. All right, but we'll see you next week. I'm Dobson. I'm the owner and operator of Metroflex GM. We're here in Arlington, Texas. It's the first day we've been below about 100 degrees in several weeks now. Mr. Cyril brought us some good luck coming down to film Ronnie. And uh, Ronnie's had some intense workouts this week, as always. I mean, there's no man who trains harder anywhere. I truly believe that if uh, Ronnie put his mind to it, he could set the all-time record in powerlifting and not only be the greatest bodybuilder of all time, but the greatest powerlifter of all time also. Well, when, I, when Ronnie first walked in here, you know, and he'd never even been in a bodybuilding contest or anything at all. And, uh, of course, I'm the kind of person where I see a person's potential. I want to take him as far as they can go. We've had some great bodybuilders here, but no one that could ever compare to Ronnie. I mean, when he first walked in the door, his arms were already over 20 inches. He had a red sweatshirt and sweatpants on, and you could see the veins in his legs through the sweatpants. And 
when I saw that, it just it just blew me away. And I have to say, I knew he could be Mr. Olympia one day. I didn't know if he would ever get the chance um, with all the other great bodybuilders out there. And just, you know, I don't know if I want to say the word politics, but I don't know, there's many, many shows that I saw him enter where I thought he should place much, much higher. Um, just had to pay his dues and keep plugging it out. And it certainly did pay off. And my gosh, now I don't see anyone even near him anymore. I think Ryan could be Mr. Olympia until he's 45, 50 years old if he wanted to be. <laughs> That was heavy. different. I wanted to see how many. I can do 585 for which was sixth place on each side. I was only able to get four 
because it was bouncing when, when I went down and I wasn't expecting that to happen. So we had to drop it, <laughs> regroup, and go for f five plates, which was about 495. And I was able to get 10 out of that. I normally do 12 there, but you know, I just did 10 because I went for the six first. <laughs> Uh, as you can play, pretty much see, I train in a, just a basic gym uh, uh, with a lot of old-fashioned uh, exercises. I don't do any of the, uh, the, the new fancy equipment type stuff. You know, just basic exercises, nothing fancy, uh, real hardcore training uh, with, uh, you know, basically for me, you know, I, I, I train alone because I get a better focus by myself. And, uh, you know, it, 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 training is basically in the heart. So I, I just use whatever I'm comfortable with. I'm comfortable in the hardcore training facility, doing the basic old-fashioned exercise with basic movements, uh, not a whole lot of machines and stuff, and, and, and just basic free, uh, free weights freestyle and uh, a lot of hard training, hard intense training. Last one.
Yeah, it's like I was saying, since I've been here, I've been here since 89, since like Brian made a commitment to me in 89. Of course, when I did the video back in, what, 96, 97, I was here. 97, I was here. Uh, this is 2000, I'm still here. So, like, Brian made the commitment, you know, for me to be here at the gym. And I think I kind of, like, owe it to him to make a commitment to stay here at this gym. To me, Brian is kind of like, you know, an angel to me because, you know, I've been working out now for about 25 years. Nobody ever had a, a strong desire, a strong belief in me and my talents. And when I first walked in that door, Brian had told me I could be a world champ. I don't know if you remember his exact word, but when, I, when he told me that, I think that's what I remember him saying. And, and he stuck, stuck by his uh, belief and his, uh, his feeling toward me. Uh, he's kind of like, you know, like my, my guide and angel. I think God has a purpose for everybody in life, and I think that was Brian and, and mine is to be Miss Olympia. So you know, it's kind of like we got a bond here. So I think we kind of like part of like like a family. That's right. So uh, you know, for the, all the people out there, you know, you know, every, everybody has a purpose in life. You know, life is all about pretty much being happy. You know, I've been here for almost 11, 12 years. It's been the happiest times of my life, and you know, I kind of like hope Brian has been kind of happy with me being here. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope we kind of like both benefited because I benefit greatly. And that's what life is basically all about, you know, being happy and doing the thing that you want to do. You know, and I think, you know, by Brian making his commitment toward me and me mine making mine towards him, I think we kind of like made a pact together. So, you know, I didn't do this thing all by myself. I had some help. And right here is my angel, Brian Dobson. Thank you, brother. <laughs> <laughs>